Hi to Chaco. We have uh, Lucifer with Orc. We have Sonic with Night Elf. Uh, this is not Night Elf. Human. <laughs> We're watching Human. I know these races, guys. This is not my first time casting a game of Warcraft 3. This is not my first game I see anyone play Warcraft 3. I've seen this before. I've seen, uh, seen Human before. Chaco, do you smoke something? I don't smoke anything. I just drink protein shakes. Protein shakes. I don't know if that counts. Warden. Warden is very good first hero here for uh, Lucifer. Potom is not that great of a hero here for Sonic. Uh, he has... Well, later game, of course, is nice. Actually, late game is super nice, but he just needs to survive the early game. If you can, if you can survive the early game, you know, place the name with the aura, and the entire human army is ranged against the orc. So, uh... But early game, it's all melee, of course. The pot I'm hiding here in the base. There is a nice shadow strike there on the bottom. And the Moontress. Uh, you go to you go to gym or why the shakes? I yeah I work out but not at the gym. I work out at home. Okay, well, damn, man, I'm, I'm getting tired again. I ate second caffeine pill. I'm so dependent on caffeine, man. It's insane. Another grunt is being summoned. Sonic is hiding over here with her, uh, with his Moontress. The, uh, the warden can also hide. They both got a hero. They can hide in the darkness. The only two heroes that can hide in the darkness in the entire game. They got both of them. Is that a coincidence or what? Self-weight training? A player's forces are uh, I guess. So I never heard that term before. Uh, Morden was too late with the, the Shadow Strike. Theta Saber Fang sitting over here. Chocolate Fang shakes to get a breeze. And he skips dinners. Here comes the warden. Uh, I mean the bottom. Man, this bottom takes so much damage. Lucifer gets that first kill. 20 XP for killing the turtle. We have 88 XP here on the the bottom. Okay, there goes a the footman. 60 XP now. Okay, he's going to surround. He could surround easy peasy. But uh, it takes so long, be long before it turns day again. And there's no Goblin Laboratory on this map. The bottom takes some more damage. Body weight training. I mean, I use uh, body weight. I also use some uh, kettlebells. Yes, Footman takes some damage. Goes back in the base. Isometrics? I don't know all those terms, man. We have a second hero here. Maybe, maybe what is a good hero here for uh, Sonic? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, do we have a second hero yet? Oh, we're getting a second hero here for, uh, for Wuizi, for Lucifer as well. He's trying to get the shop. Getting the shop would be pretty nice. He does get the shop. And this Priestess of the Moon just shooting her little arrows. Her fire arrows do so much damage, of course. Just 10 extra damage. A player's force. Getting Berserker Strength. We're getting the. Oh, Dreadlord! He has been Lee. He's playing Orc. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing for him. Wow. 
Dreadlord not that good for, for Undead with the Vampiric Aura, but Vampiric Aura for Orc is insane, man. It's a completely different story. With uh, Spirit Link and Mass Melee units, it's yeah, and even Wormill is going for Kodo later as well. Here we have a Fire Lord. That, of course, is perfect for the bottom. Lava Spawns, they get plus 10 or plus the two shot aura damage as well. And he's ranged, he also gets extra two shot aura damage. So, uh, if, he, if he survives to a later game, it's, uh, it's going to be amazing. And now we can uh, do something with the Lava Spawn, like killing this Burrow. This Burrow is going to die for sure. Does he pick slip or uh, sleep or the other spell? Carrion Swarm. Carrion Swarm, of course, is nice with Fan of Knives later. You will have a lot of AoE, which is perfect against human. If he picks sleep, I don't think any of these heroes are really worth sleeping though. Also, there's no units worth sleeping, so I don't think sleep is a pick. Comes with four uh, grunties. Shadow Psych there on Sorceress. Slow on the uh, Warden. And this is taking a lot of damage. The Warden running for life. Oh, not Warden Sorceress. She will survive for now. And what item? A Skull of the Beast and uses it immediately to defend here. Easy fight. Uh, oh, the Sorceress was about to cast a slow, but she just died. So none of these, no, some of them do get a slowed. He could kill them, he could pick them off, easy peasy. By the way, he got two gauntlets for the Dreadlord. I mean... What else is going... Oh, he's going for an expand. Okay. We have a Wyvern here in the main, but uh, all these heroes are... deal with the Wyvern pretty well. The Kodo. Just one Wyvern though. One Wyvern, then the Kodo, no Raiders, no... Spirit Walkers just yet. Still don't know what skill he has. I think it's scary and swarm though. Uh, if he had sleep, he would have used one already. Oh, he has sleep. Never mind, guys. Don't listen to me. He has sleep. Like I was saying, he probably has sleep. He would never get carry and swarm. Kappa. No, actually, I think carry and swarm is better. I don't know why he picked uh, sleep. If a, if a Priestess of the Moon is sleeping, is her aura still effective? I don't know, actually. Here comes a Wyvern again. Priestess of the Moon is there to defend. I'm not sure what Sonic is doing. He's just... Camping is expansion. Auras work. Okay, so I guess it's not much use to sleep the bottom. It's not like she does a lot of DPS with her little fire arrow thing. It's not like the lava spawn guy does a lot of uh, damage. The fire lord. Oh, he picked uh, the vampiric aura and the cat car's pipe of inside. Okay, now he has plenty of sleeps. And uh, level 3 warden. I assume level 2 uh, fan of knives is what she picked. Maybe with the Catacar Spipes you can use both spells, uh, Fan of Knives and Shadow Strike. And there's an expansion for um, Lucifer. Fire Lord is still level 1, Smolder Us. The Priestess is still level 2, Theta. The Warden is already level 3, the, the, this Lord will almost, yeah, they're level 3 as well. He picks level 2, sleep, okay. So that's level 1 for Pyrrhic Aura. He's getting some more Spirit Walkers. These heroes are just so strong by themselves. I don't see Sonic winning this. Sonic might be 16 spy up. This expansion might have paid off already, but it didn't pay off. Why did it not pay off? Because he lost so much creeping time trying to defend it against no attacks while Lucifer was just creeping. Here we have a fight. No sleeps. I mean, why sleep anything if you have mana, if you have... Oh, there's a sleep. Sleep on the priestess. As you can see, the my viewer was completely correct. Uh, Happy Bat Micro knows how this game works. 
The aura is still effective even though she's sleeping. This uh, this guy is dead though. Fire Lord is dead. The Warden of uh, Soul Burned. But the TP out, does he save the Dreadlord? Yeah, easy peasy. 44 supply against 59. I don't know, maybe Sonic can just buy uh, build Spellbreakers and overwhelm Lucifer. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Lucifer, maybe if we can cancel this expansion. Sonic, easy win. You, th you think so? I still, I'm, I don't know, man. He has a uh, supply advantage. Of course, you know, it would have been easier if he picked level two Carrion Swarm and level two uh, Fan of Knives. Imagine that, that would be so much damage. It's like, uh, same as Warden Panda almost. This expansion can he cancel it. He's trying to cancel it. He's too late, just a bit too late to cancel it, I think. Or maybe, let's see, this, uh, this little bottom does a lot of damage. Actually, he's in time. There, yeah, he cancels it. Does have level two Phantom Knives, actually. And the Grunts uh, are gonna be so strong in this fight. Grunts against Spellbreakers. Grunts own. There's no sor there's no sorceresses to slow the Grunts. There is Vampiric Aura. Uh, even though these guys have their true shot aura. Okay, he wakes up the Priestess. TP's out. But uh, he lost a lot. I'm not sure if he lost... Uh, if cancelling that ex the expansion was worth it. As he won 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 human bodies there. 10 human bodies, guys. For that expansion. Not a single orc unit died there. We have a level 4, uh, level 2 Dreadlord now. Uh, I mean level 2 uh, Aura. Vampiric Aura. Level 4 Dreadlord. Uh, I still think Lucifer is going to win. Even though... He has no expansion. I mean, maybe he never scouted this expansion. He saw that uh, Sonic was creeping this. I wonder if he never scouted it. Dreadlord does plus 18 damage. How does he do plus 18 damage? Plus 9, plus 5 is plus 14, and then the Kodos. Plus 18, a lot of damage. More than only plus 4. It's just uh, sleeping. Oh, Bloodless is uh, Priestess. Nice fan of knives there. Uh, there she's sleeping again. Grants of zero zero still. So other spellbreakers. This for has so much gold. Why is he still at 44? Oh wait, he lost a burrow? When did he lose that burrow? What? Is it because he didn't build a burrow? Because he was planning to get an expansion? No, that's not true. He lost a burrow somewhere. I don't know when or how. Did I miss something important? Maybe, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Lucifer go to tier 3. I think Lucifer has this one emo. He has the better heroes for this race than Sonic. Killed his own burrow after he TP'd and got blocked inside his base. Oh, I remember seeing that. Yeah, I remember seeing this. The burrow over here that he killed. But I forgot about it. I felt like that was like ages ago though. Was he just supply stock for so long? He went to tier 3 though. I wonder uh, what for. The Kodo Aura of course is always nice. But that's not worth it just to go for tier 3. The Master Spirit Walkers is also always nice. The Burrow Upgrade is also always nice. But altogether I... I'm not sure if it's worth it. Okay maybe for a third hero. Third hero... Also always nice. Just a lot of things that are always always nice, but uh, if you add them up, I'm not sure if anything makes it worth to attack with tier 3. This Kodo ate the spell break, he's running for his life. The spell the spirit walker very low on hit points took some damage from the tower that got killed. The dreadlords uh, or uh, and stared on the bottom. He could maybe try to kill the bottom. Oh she used the info potion, but she had no items, so next time after the info potion is done, he could easily easily kill the bottom, but the bottom is walking to a safer position. She's still easy kill there with uh, sleep and ha 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 shadow strike. Uh, he sleeps. What did he sleep? Just the other guy. Yeah, the bottom does go down. And meanwhile, uh, Lucifer is killing everything over here. While the spellbreakers are hunting down the warden. These sources are dead. 
Do we have a snare available on oh, no more raiders? What? No more raiders, but the sleep surround is, is just perfect here. The uh, fire lord go, does go down for sure. Uh, this guy's level 5. GG. Have you mixed caffeine with uh, co codeine? Well, I've never heard of that before, so no, I don't know. Lucifer is getting uh, got night elf. Of course, if you got get night elf, you're happy. Sonic got orc. Orc is is also. I mean, I guess any race you get is fine. Depends on the heroes more. If we see like a paladin against a demon hunter, you can GG out. But if it's a nice hero against a nice hero, or shitty hero against shitty hero, it's gonna be an exciting game. That's what we want to see, of course. An exciting game where they get the same level of heroes, but just not, you know, not the ordinary heroes. We don't want to see a Blade Master against a Demon Hunter. We want to see something crazy against something crazy. So, the finals are best of five. Guys, it's best of five. It says best of five in the grid. So, I trust the grid. I trust the grid. Okay, we have a random hero here for Sonic. We have a random hero here for Lucifer. This uh, peon is uh, scouting over here. What is he doing? We have uh, this peon. He's he's gonna attack the creeps. Or uh, I mean, aggro. Pull aggro on the creeps. Move them to the Ancient of War. Uh, attack the Ancient of War. The uh, peon should be running though. He's, why just sacrifice the peon? Oh well, um, he might survive. Twenty-seven. Never mind. I, he knew exactly how much uh, damage he could take before he started running. We have a Naga now for Sonic. A Naga, third time we see the Naga today. A Blade Master for, uh, for uh, Lucifer. I think this is going to be pretty good for Lucifer, guys. Don't think we'll have much of a chance here for Sonic. This Blade Master can just right click the Naga and kill her. But instead, he's, he's going to defend this Archer from the grunt. Uh, also, he needs to creep this, of course. These creeps are still killing the Ancient of War. But maybe he's going to right click the Naga later. But for now, he's uh, he's trying to kill this grunt. Blade Master is, of course, very similar to Demon Hunter, so you can just play this very standard, very standard, just like you normally play, you know, against the Naga first. Oh, this grunt down 158 hit points. Oh, the creeps lost uh, interest in that Ancient of War. They realized the Ancient of War is no threat to them. They might have made a mistake though. The Ancient of War is still going to kill them later. Uh, Blade Master kills the Grunt, now he's going to right click the Naga. Naga has to buy some items, has to get some peons in the burrows. Naga isn't bad I guess, actually against the Blade Master guys. Um, if uh, if he has some Grunts, he should easily easily be able to deal with the Blade Master. The Cold Arrow is just super good against the Blade Master because it reduces his damage by so much. Almost as much as Curse. Level 1 uh, Naga, actually more than Curse, actually. Actually, level 1 Cold Arrow is more effective than Curse, guys. Blade Master with Moonwells, Ellie Giggle. I, I don't think the Blade Master works well with Moonwells, actually. I think uh, the Healing Salves and the Clarities are better, you know, because the Blade Master actually uses more mana than the Demon Hunter. So, if you compare to the Demon Hunter, uh, Demon Hunter doesn't need to use as much mana from the Moonwells. As you can see, the Moonwells are empty. Now the Naga is hunting down the Blade Master again. I think actually the Demon Hunter is just better for uh, Night Elf. Grunt uh, blocking the Blade Master. And uh, he has to buy the boots there. Beautiful micro here by Sonic by the way. Unexpected. No, no, not unexpected. Sonic's micro is pretty good, you know. It's not, it's... No, why the boots? Hello. There, buys the boots. Uh, this grunt is hunting down his wisp. What the fuck is this mode? It's random, uh, random race, random hero. Tournament. Okay, Blade Master, Close of Haste is perfect, of course. Remember, this Blade Master will get the Orb of uh, Venom later in this game. I mean, against the Naga, I guess the Blade Master would be better than the Demon Hunter because the Mana Burn isn't that effective. Uh, well, the, the Critical Strike is, is always effective, of course. At least if he can uh, get level 2, the Blade Master still level 1. 
Naga's gonna buy some boots, maybe healing potion. Uh, not boots, a speed scroll, maybe healing potion. Or maybe only the healing potion. Okay, use the healing potion. Demon, uh, blade mask. He could have blocked. Why did he not block? I mean, everyone saw this coming. I thought he was moving in here to surround the blade mask. Move one gun here, one gun there. But no, I was wrong. And he didn't buy the speed scroll either. This blade master should have been should have died either of two ways. Either he should have surrounded him, or he should have bought the speed scroll and used the speed scroll and killed him. But he he used neither. But of course, Sonic's another orc player. How would he have known? He's going double bestiary like he plays every game. Sonic, when he gets orc, he just always goes double bestiary mass raiders, which is uh, let's see, let's see what we see here. Ancient of Winds. Second hero. Let's see if it's a rage one or a melee. Oh, uh, Naga! Okay, he's gonna snipe this Naga with his own Naga and the Blade Master. Actually, Blade Master still doesn't have a uh, critical strike though. And this Naga is level 2. Okay, this. Uh, he's trying to snipe this Naga. It still doesn't have a speed scroll. I don't know why he doesn't buy speed scrolls. Uh, well, oh, whoa, 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 the fourth lightning. I don't know if it uh, did no damage or what. Or if it did damage, or. I don't know. It was beautiful, though. You guys saw the lightning, though, right? You, you saw that? It was so beautiful. Please buy a speed scroll now. I mean, if you want your Naga to not die all the time. Sure, boots is fine, but, you know, speed scroll is even better. There it is, speed scroll. Blade Master and the Naga creeping with the Ancient of War. That's just not fair, is it? Kills the ogre. It's going to tree of eternity. Naga is. I've seen a few times actually Drizzle of Thailand where they go Naga second. Demon Hunter Naga. So it's it's kind of standard here still for Lucifer. A uh, Butcher Pot the last. That's insane. He gets the best items. He just needs a level two demon uh, late match now and then he wins the game. Oh, but he's still level one. But oh, this Naga. Luckily she has a speed scroll. <laughs> she definitely needs it. And this Naga is going to die. It's around her maybe. Oh. Okay, it doesn't matter. He uses his staff. There's a speed scroll, so at least he survives. This Ancient of War will fall, of course. Naga running for a life or slithering for a life. No, why did she go back? Oh, Blade Master. What a juke. She was just juking the Blade Master, but Blade Master with Druid of the Talon is hunting her down. She will probably be in time to buy healing potion, I think. Even if she gets hit one more time, she doesn't die. Sorry. There, she buys healing potion and she and ensnares this uh, Blade Master. She could block here with a peon if he was afraid. The Blade Master was uh, committing to killing her, but uh, oh, three raiders. This Blade Master is going to TP. Okay. I want to say die, but then I then he TP'd, and then I was like, ooh, TP. Serena Scarsil. Scarskill, really poetic name. Serena Scarskill against Skilla Merc Shadow. The Raiders are just gonna kill the shop. The shop! Oh, he was too late. We have an orb for the Blade Mass. And he's level 2. He's going to do so much damage. Oh, what? Didn't pick Critical Strike. Was that, uh. Maybe miss. Oh, actually, maybe it wasn't a misclick. He's probably. I don't know. What the. Huh? I don't know. He does need a uh, wall, of course. For his Druids of the Talon. It's actually not a, a bad skill if you go Druids of the Talon. But with Windwalk, you, you'd want Critical Strike and uh, Windwalk. Uh, critical Strike and Mirror Image, of course. But he does so much damage, man. With the Orb and the Boots of Cotteras. There it is, GG. Of course, Lucifer is playing human. Sonic playing undead. Getting an Acolyte. Getting a Tomb of Relics. I wonder if we're gonna see a pass expansion. You know, normally normally when we watch 1v1 normal games, we see uh, expansion for human version dead. But random hero, it might be different. Chaco, you got a hairbrush, bro. I don't. Do I need to brush my hair? Are you saying I need to brush my hair? Or are you saying like, oh Chaco, your hair looks so beautiful. How do you get your hair like that? Well. 
It's getting pretty long already, actually. Maybe I have to cut at some point. Maybe I have a, a coom. But a hairbrush? No. Coom. Is that how you pronounce it? How do you pronounce that word, man? Comb? Comb? Comb. 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 That's not at all how you write it, by the way. C O M B. Comb. 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 English, man, it's so difficult. But I guess most of you understand because most of you are not native English speakers either. It's fine. Okay, it's. Oh, it's fine! <laughs> With a bunch of eyes. Oh, we got a Death Knight first! For. Oh, wait, for Lucifer. So, no offensive coils unless he. Uh, no, even against a Pit Lord, he cannot coil the heroes. Cannot coil the units. No defensive coils either. What? This is Death Knight. Completely useless. Maybe he will pick Unholy Aura level 1. Or maybe he uses the coils on the creeps. Uh, because he cannot coil. Uh, maybe it's second hero for Sonic. <laughs> he can he can uh, coil second hero of Sonic, of course. There is... Uh, an, unless he gets another undead hero second. But besides that, no offensive and no defensive coils. And also, dark uh, the Dark Ritual uh, thing, Death Pact, is only useful on undead units. So he's not going to pick Death Pact. An Holy Aura is good, of course. But uh, yeah, that's about it. An Holy Aura... And uh, coil the creeps, I guess. These captains uh, trying to kill units. Some some more units. Man, if he just had picked an holy aura first, he could maybe try to surround this uh, this pit lord. It's so slow. It says fast, but okay, it's actually pretty fast. It's because of the wings, of course. You know what? In World of Three uh, remastered, I want to see a flying pit lord. Death Knight, Aura plus tanks is Kappa. Well, he should be uh, creeping to level 2. He could be creeping this creep and get another nice item. Oh, this, uh, this peasant, no! Oh, he beautiful micro never lose for insane. The peasant survives with like 3 hit points. Okay, he wants to get his level 3, but he's gonna be uh, rained of fire on if he tries to kill it with Footman and the Death Knight, of course. There's a fiend, do we have defense? Not yet. He's not getting it either. He didn't get an expansion either, he went for a uh, keep. Pitlord is the fastest hero of all. They buffed him in some patch. I don't think he's the fastest hero of all. He's probably... Uh, I think he has 300 movement speed. I think the Death Knight is still faster. With uh, 320. But, or maybe he has 320 as well. Which is... Uh, most of the fast heroes have 320. You have three. Ow! I bit on my lips. You have three different movement speeds for a hero: uh, 270, 300, and 320. Uh, 300 is pretty rare. Usually, most of them are either uh, 270 or 320. But maybe the pit lord is 300. Oh, now we have level two death knight though. I think he has the unique fastest movement speed. I, I, I doubt it. I doubt you're right because I would have known. I can just can someone confirm what he's saying what Sinclair is saying here in Warcraft 3 Alpha Potom was flying really that's pretty nice Pit Lord movement speed I actually we probably won't find it like this because uh, the official website I'm not sure if all the patches have been well, there it says 300. It, said, it says 300 on the website. I wonder if that's updated though. It might have been buffed to 320. 320 of what? I don't know what. <laughs> they don't say that. They just tell you, give you a number. Then Junus could hit air from hills. Really? Are you just making shit up? 
feel like you guys are just making shit up. Death Knight is level 3. Level 2 aura, maybe? Yeah, level 2 and holy aura. Footman healing so much. Again, of course. Okay, well, maybe I'll check it later. Uh, Coil skills are tall. Uh, do we have a second hero yet? He's going for a second hero. Yes, they're in a second. Maybe on that hero would be nice. Oh, Blade Master is always nice, of course. Uh, especially with human, then you can get the Orb of Fire on the Blade Master. That's insane. He's going to castle. I want to see the Orb of Fire so much, man. Uh, what do we have a second hero here? No second hero. So Death Knight is level three, but level two aura. Pit Lord is level two. And kilometer, uh, kilo kilometers an hour, of course. Bit hard is like a Ferrari. Knights with unholy aura. I wonder if the knights all turn into death knights if they have unholy aura. Orb of fire. I definitely want to see orb of fire on this blade master. Oh, oh, blade master, be careful. That's that's gonna be insane, man. Imagine all the damage. We're getting destroyers here. Hunters being annoying. Okay, I kind of want to read the patch notes real fast here. Let's see if it's. Now I'm curious. I wonder if we can find those somewhere. Where's the Death Knight? He's uh, not here. Kaka! See, program files. Um, patch, patch.txt Have there been balance changes after uh, 1.26? Because of course I don't have 1.28 on my computer. Oh, Pit Lord that has a TP. The Gloves of Haze not very useful because he's not attacking very much. Pit Lord. Um, strength increased to 26 from 24. Uh, hmm. Naga see which speed reduced from to 300 from 320. What the patch is this? This is a long time ago. Patch 1.13. I don't think it's uh, unless it was 1.27 or 1.28, but I don't think those were balanced patches. Don't I even think uh, the Pitlord movement speed was ever fixed? With the patch, there's nothing in the patch logs. Uh, Blade Master, is he gonna kill the Pit Lord here? He's definitely gonna try to. He's, he's, he's level two this time. Oh, he has the Orb of Fire, guys! I love Lucifer, man. Lucifer with the Orb of Fire, winning the game, showing all the human players how good this Orb of Fire is. Human players, you guys should not complain about the Orb of Fire anymore. You can see it's the best Orb in the game. You should just. Uh, Get the Blade Master, man. Death Knight first, Blade Master second. The Blade Master now also has a super movement speed, of course, with that Unholy Aura. Here comes the Destroyers and the Fiends. There's no hero, though. No hero here for Sonic. But, uh. Flying Machines. Okay, Flying Machines can easily, peacefully defend here against the Destroyers. Should be easy game here for Lucifer. Let me open the chat back up because I accidentally. Yeah. Orb of Fire is so insane. He can also kill the destroyers here with the Orb of Fire, of course. This is uh, Luke uh, Blade Master with the Orb of Fire just single handedly killed all the destroyers there. You saw how fast the destroyers go down. You might say, yeah, the flying machines. No. Blade Master. Meow. Meow. Pit Lord, 300 movement speed, one of the fastest. How is it the fastest? There's so many heroes with 320 movement speed. <laughs> Hi Prop, welcome back. Sonic is going solo pit lord, apparently. I think this game's over by the way, guys. This game is definitely over, it's a 3-0 here for uh, Lucifer. Meow! What does my cat want? I gave him fish this morning, I don't know why he still wants more attention from me. Meow! Uh, 
Okay, he kills another building. He, he's gonna kill the shop thing. He's uh, he's gonna kill more. The altar. Maybe he can kill the altar before the pit lord pops out. Where's the blade master? Blade master's here. Uh, pit lord. Yeah, he's not out. Great. Even the flying machines are heal as well, of course. The flying machines with unholy aura is very nice. Uh, actually, not nice. They don't get any bonus uh, movement speed, by the way. Flying machines already have the max movement speed. They don't get a bonus, but they do get the regeneration, which is very nice on, if you have a lot of small little flying machines. I'm pretty sure he got buffed for movement speed. Okay, it might be point uh, patch 1.27 or 28 then. Uh, probably not, not 28. I'm pretty sure 28 didn't come with balance changes. But maybe patch 1.27. Uh, he did get uh, his body size got made smaller. Taco flavored keys is Mike with the resub. Second, second month in a row here for Mike. Didn't even realize it was already this long that you subbed to me. Thanks, of course, for the sub. I appreciate the support. I love you. And I'll give you some taco flavored keys back there. Taco flavored keys. Oh, wrong person. Mike. Mike. There. There are some taco flavored keys. Uh, congratulations here to no one else than Lucifer for winning the tournament. Wow. 